In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best plays in Trips Tight End that is going to maximize the spacing, which is so powerful in this formation, and allow you to be able to attack the entire field with a ton of consistency. Now, if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. That'll be linked down in the description. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and like I said, it's going to get you access to my Trips Tight End ebook as well as the rest of our ebooks on Madden 23. So we're gonna take a look here at one of my favorite, favorite passing concepts out of the trip side end, and it is the Pats YN. We're in the New, the New England Patriots offensive playbook, and Pats YN is truly one of my favorite plays this year. So for what we're gonna do with this play, it's actually fairly simple. We're gonna take Steve Smith, and we're gonna put him on a slant. Then from there, what I like to do with the running back um, you can do a couple different things, but we're going to make it kind of keep it simple. We're going to take Cooper Cup. We're going to put him on a flat route, and then we're going to put our running back on a wheel. These running back wheels are super effective against man and zone. If they're not playing hard flats, you can easily just get the ball out there uh, to Cooper Cup in the flat. Now, I do think that this play will work better if you are on the wide side of the field. One of the things that I did want to point out, if you do have tight end apprentice, you can certainly put him on a tight end apprentice crosser. But what you're gonna notice is against zone, we can throw this, this wheel route to Barkley, and you basically just wanna throw it with the pass lead to the inside. You don't wanna overpass lead as you just saw me do. Um, so, you know, if you need to highball it or whatever just to keep it safe, go ahead and just highball this right in the seam. You're gonna get that ag, and as you can see, this becomes a really nice little play. Now, what they're gonna start to do is they're going to kind of get into a position where they're going to have to use her, um, you know, your running back, basically. So if they are going to run to the right side of the screen, that's going to be great because that's going to now open up this left side of the screen where we can throw this crosser against zone coverage. Now, let's say that, that let's say that you don't have tight end apprentice. We're basically trying to create a shallow cross concept. And so what's going to happen here is if you don't have tight end apprentice, you're going to have this rounded in route from this player. And if you wait on this, you can actually highball it, but it is a little bit dicey just because he doesn't quite get the same depth that he would um, in another example. Now, if you really wanted to throw this, what you would need to do is you would need to put the running back on a flat route to the trip side. So like a little in route from the running back, this would hold that flat defender a little bit better allowing me to now freeform and highball this over the top of that hard flat. So if you really wanted to throw that, that's how you would be able to get access to it. But really what I, I would recommend is just have a tight end apprentice. But, uh, you know, if you can't for whatever reason get one, then, you know, obviously you've got to kind of do with what you can. Uh, but I love this. I love this running back route. I think that the running back wheel, when you have a flat that actually pulls out the zone, is super effective in this year's game. Now, one of the things that happens to me a ton whenever I run trips tight end is they love to play man-to-man. -man. Like, that is the number one coverage that I will face if I run trips tight end. And I'm going to show you kind of a glitchy little route here to Saquon Barkley. What you're going to notice is this wheel route is going to give you really good leverage once he kind of cuts up field. And all you're going to do is you're going to freeform and highball it at the same time, and you're going to basically throw the ball to the leverage that you have so if it's over shoulder to the right or over shoulder inside so here you see he gets matched up on the linebacker it's a little bit of a mismatch and as you can see there i've got a chance to be able to make a home run play uh with that now again be, be mindful of the fact that you not only this isn't the only run on the field right we have a ton of other really good routes here this route to Taysom hill i think is a very consistent route against man even that rounded in route uh, that we have in the play originally will do pretty decent um, against man. If they're not dropping safety help, one of the things that you're going to get, um, I wouldn't be surprised, is if you got something like this. This is actually a really common coverage adjustment and a drop eight coverage where they're basically going to try to take away your C route on the left side. And so what they'll do is they'll drop a third, but they won't actually put someone in the seam. And so you can throw that that skinny post. There's, that actually happens a lot more than you would think. And then the other thing that I want to show you is this, again, this wheel route. So this uh, this wheel route to Saquon, hopefully the game will cooperate with me here, but a lot of times what I get on this is right about there, I'm going to get that leverage. 
and now I can highball it kind of into that little soft spot um, against the defender. Now, the reason that that's happening, I, I've recently discovered that it's because I'm basically trying to throw the ball with too, like too hard. So I wanna try to lob it a little bit more. So you'll see right here, hopefully I'll get it where try to just lob it out there a little bit more. And the other thing that can help that is to have a taller receiver. Um, so that is another thing you can do to kind of help that. But obviously, you know, if you if you can't throw it against man, if you just can't figure it out, like I seem to not be able to, then take your slant. Your slant is one of the most important and critical routes in this play, and you need to be taking it if the defense is going to give it to you. It's going to beat man. It's going to beat zone. You're going to force them to use it. And if the user the slant, then you want to look for your, your crosser. That is basically how this concept works. This is kind of similar to the air raid shallow crossing uh, play. Again, your slant, as you can see, really effective against man coverage. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you wanna learn more about the Trips Tight End offense, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10. Uh, to become a member and it's going to get you access to literally all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video and head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.